Dumplings are among the dishes that Tibetans like to prepare. They'll call them momo and cook them in steam or in meat broth. I'll show you how to make a delicious Tibetan mini dumpling soup. Here are the ingredients for four people. You can find this list and tips on cookingwithmorgan.com. To make the dumpling wrappers, you can watch my homemade dumpling wrappers video. To cut the wrappers, use a 6 cm diameter cookie cutter. To prepare the broth, cut 3 slices of ginger and 1 onion in half. In a pot, put 600 grams of pork or chicken bones, the ginger slices, the onion, 2 teaspoons of salt, 3 tablespoons of light soy sauce, and 2.5 liters of water. Put a lid on and heat over high heat. After 15 minutes, some scum appears on the surface. Remove it. Put the lid back on, turn to very low heat and let simmer for 1 hour and 30 minutes. Meanwhile, prepare the stuffing. Cut 400 grams of pork loin into chunks. Blend them. Put them in a mixing bowl. Chop two garlic cloves. Put them with the pork. Grate a piece of ginger. Take one teaspoon. Also put it in the bowl. Then add half teaspoon of salt, some ground paper, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of cornstarch, mix. Mince two green onions. Put them in the stuffing. Combine. and let rest while continuing the preparation. Mince a green onion and 5 grams of cilantro. Keep aside. Now, prepare the ingredients for chili oil. Chop 30 grams of garlic, Also, take one tablespoon of grated ginger. Crush two tablespoons of sesame seeds to release their flavor. Take two tablespoons of sweet or hot chili flakes. Also, take one teaspoon of fanato seeds. They are used for their sweet fruity fragrance and their natural red-orange color. 
in a saucepan heated over medium heat, put 10 centiliters of vegetable oil. When it's hot, soak the anato seeds in it for one minute to release the aroma and color. Add the ginger, stir for 50 seconds. Put the garlic, stir for 20 seconds. Add the sesame seeds, stir again for 20 seconds. Finally add the chili flakes. Mix for 20 seconds and turn off the heat. Pour the chili oil in a bowl. A delicious scent comes up. Put half a teaspoon of stuffing in the center of the wrapper. Humidify the outline. Enclose the stuffing by making folds. Children love to participate in the making and they'll do it very well. We made about 100 dumplings. The broth has simmered for 1 hour and 30 minutes. Remove the fat. Filter it. Take one liter, heat the remaining over high heat. When it boils, put all the dumplings in it. Gently stir and heat over high heat. The soup starts to boil again after 5 minutes. Add half of the broth taken aside. Briefly stir and let heat. This technique allows the filling to be completely cooked without softening the wrapper. After 2 minutes, the soup boils again. Add the remaining broth and as soon as the soup boils, briefly stir and turn off the heat. The soup is ready. In each bowl, put half tablespoon of light soy sauce, half tablespoon of black rice vinegar, one tablespoon of chili oil. Add the dumpling soup. And a little green onion and cilantro. The bowls of momo soup are ready. Bon appétit! These dumplings are made to be eaten in a bite. Thank you.
the chili oil greatly enhances all the aromas. The vinegar and soy sauce added just before serving give even more flavor. The mixture of the broth and dumpling, their stuffing and their wrapper create a pressure to be savored slowly. Thank you for watching and sharing my video. See you at the next homemade dish.